great. Anchoring. Um, this comma is the equivalent of anchoring something under NLP. So if I wanted to convince you, Mike, come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> what are you? Human being. You're a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? <laughs> now, try an example, but by anchoring it, by touching it, by taking a positive action, I've anchored that thought in his head. That's what Darren Brown does. He'll anchor a thought with you, and you won't even know it's not your own thought. Okay? You won't know it's not your own thought. Is that because he's magic? No, it's not. It's because that's the way you work. You will believe anything you are told, anything at all, if it's told to you in the right way. All right? And I'm not going to give you examples of that beyond the silly tripe thing I did then. If you don't believe that that's taking place, imagine, can you quick, briefly put your hand up if you do know who I mean by Darren Brown? Good, so that's mostly everyone, that's all right. <laughs> imagine Darren Brown and 12 of him running your government. Just imagine what they could do and what they could get away with. Just for a second. Darren Brown is nothing compared to what they know, okay? He's not an initiate, he's just sussed the tricks as to how to control the mind. He's also sussed the trick that the mind therefore controls the body too. So by convincing your mind of something, he could actually make it materialize physically for you. This is the law of nature. And what we're actually now touching on is what's always been called black magic. It's using the law of nature to inflict harm upon another. Only, this is why you never invite a vampire into your house. If you notice the story through history, can't touch you until you invite it. Yeah? A bit like statute law. Can't touch you until you invite it in and accept it. Same concept. Statute law, black magic. That's what it is. Can I ask to me? Yeah. You just keep saying they. Are you aware of who they are? Yes, I am. And um, also, you mentioned the occult, but before you said you don't believe in Satan. No, I didn't say that. I said Satan is not a person. I'll come back to you. Do you have a as a higher form of life? Yeah. From the spirit realm? Yeah, I'll, I'm coming to that now, actually, because that is what this implies. Um, coming back briefly to the Darren Brown thing. And so on. It's black magic. To use natural law against an unsuspecting body or person is black magic. That's all it ever is. The cause of anorexia and all the problems that teenagers have, such as self harm, cutting, and all the You name pressure. it. You see, once once you initiate the act, you don't have to worry about the detail. They get, you know, who's doing what doesn't matter. You initiate it. Move on. That's what they do. They yeah. don't give a damn because there's nothing you can do. In truth, there is. You can, A, be conscious of it, and then this black magic, I hate that phrase, can never affect you, because you see it. And in seeing it, you reject it, and it can't harm you. Okay? And the other thing you can do is wake up to what esoteric law, for those who want to study it, and they should, because this is what you're subject to, as I pointed out, static law. It's pure esoteric law. Um, and it's imposed on you. But they cannot make you accept it. This is why they say in their own laws they cannot make you accept it. They just don't want you to realize that. So you will contract with them. Now in a, ch in a, a court, I think I, I saw Mike refusing to contract in a court with the judge. I don't accept that contract. You're not coming into my house. You're a vampire. Saying I let you in. That's it. I've had it. So I'm not letting you in. There's nothing they can do. Not a thing. They'll still slap the judgment on you. Just don't pay it. Because you're not obliged to pay it. Where's the contract? This is an element that confuses people in the movement. I've heard a lot of people say this is pointless. This um, lawful rebellion is going to get us nowhere. Do you want to bet? Do you want to bet? Do you know why? Do you know why it will get us everywhere? 
They have no defense. Not at all. If you approach this knowing and with some understanding, and let's face it, you don't have to be a mathematician for God's sake, and I've still not touched on the commas yet properly. You don't have to be a mathematician. All you have to have is a first school level of arithmetic. Okay? I will take the top of your heads off soon by just proving yourself wrong there if you want to take this further. But so, that's another thing. This is all you ever need to know. Now, beyond this, yes, there's physics and chemistry and all sorts of stuff that is defined by this. Great argument I had with a chemist that turned into full agreement a few years ago was about, he was talking about blood. How does oxygen bond with the blood? Well, it's easy, the hemoglobin sort of grabs it, it takes around the body, lets it go, there you go, oxygen. Well, that's cool, how does it grab the oxygen then? Well, it's got a receptor, which works it. Well, that's good, how does it know when to let it go then? Oh, well, it just does. Okay, so what they're doing when they're describing how blood takes oxygen on board to give you life. They're just describing what they think is happening. Yeah. Now, oh, that's really interesting, because the iron molecule is uh, it's very simple, actually, it's like this. Yeah, it's four molecules around a central atom, four electrons. Now, because of the involvements I'd been in, and I, I set up this Earth Foundation with others, um, actually it was Dave and I who introduced me to the people I set that up with at the time, or set it up with me, either way. It wasn't led by me, it was a guy called Adrian. If you're out there, Adrian, get your ass back here, please. <laughs> um, he went off to make lots of money. He never quite came back with it, man. Where are you going? <laughs> Do I know where he is. Um, Yes, the iron molecule. It's a beam focuser. All right. So I, I spoke to this chemist. I said, well, actually, uh, if you look at that and go and look at beam focusers, here's a diagram I managed to get in one. That's a beam focuser. Do you know what it's used for in physics? You can imagine focusing any beam, focusing energy down. Lasers, anything. It's a beam focuser. It's also the iron molecule. What's it doing? Picks up the oxygen molecule, focuses it, directs it, zaps it, lets it go. Just like a beam focuser would. I won't go into the technology of that. There you go, he's going, don't be silly, because that means oxygen is magnetic. Well, it is, paramagnetic. Yeah. It's there. Their own books tell them that. Wake up. They don't get it. A chemist doesn't look at physics, and a phys physicist doesn't look at chemistry. All right? And then I, could go into so many things in chemistry and physics that are answers to the great questions that the physicists are still out there asking. They cannot accept this because their careers are over the second they do. It's too simple for them. Right, Pythagorean kicks. Everything will evolve if you go through a passive, active, and neutral phase. And I meant very loosely, actively do whatever it is you're going to do, and let it go. It doesn't matter what people think. That's why I've trained myself not to actually give a damn about what you think. I'd love to think that you would agree or say this was worth it. But at the end of the day, I know it's worth it. I also know that two thirds of you won't get this. All right, but one third will. And I could almost suggest that it will be exactly two thirds of you who won't get it today. Why? It's the law of nature. All right. Now, this wonderful <coughs> nature that we live in does have many other levels, and this is a spiritual world that's been touched on. There's been many descriptions of this over the years, but as and because everything that exists in our realm is merely a reflection of that above, and is merely a further evolution of that which is below, everything truly is the same. Now, I'll give you an insight here. A lot of you know this already, but you might not believe it. But at the top of science, they know this. And see if you can draw the inevitable conclusion. This is a hard one, but your consciousness, your human consciousness, I'll call it the conscious mind of humanity generally, it doesn't matter which way you look at it, stops at that point.